Why do parents still circumcise their babies despite the controversy surrounding this practice? Circumcision has cultural, religious, and medical implications. Some cultures see circumcision as a rite of passage. Some religions see it as an obligation and many medical professionals actively push circumcision onto parents. But none of these reasons ever consider the wishes of the child if he was able to speak for himself. Deciding to circumcise anyone without their consent is unethical. No one has any right for any reason to amputate a normal functioning part of someone else's body. Circumcision has risks that includes death as well as mental and physical harm. Some of the list of circumcision harm is pain, bleeding, loss of sensitivity, loss of the penis, and death. I know that some of you are going to say, but wait, circumcision was in the Bible. Yes, it was in the Old Testament, but the biblical circumcision only left a mark on the foreskin. It didn't remove the foreskin. They were using sharpened stones back then. They did not have the medical knowledge that we do today, so they could not have performed the circumcisions that we do today. So the religious argument for circumcision is moot since all circumcisions since 140 AD have resulted in removing the foreskin, but that didn't happen in the original covenant. Cultural ideals about circumcision are also unethical since it forces a view onto someone else. There are various reasons why parents opt for a circumcision when they have a boy. Social norms are one such reason. Parents want their boy to look like all the other boys, except that if there were no circumcisions, all the boys would look the same, right? So social reasons for circumcision are moot. Family tradition is another reason that parents rely on to justify circumcising their child. The excuse to circumcise a child so that he looks like his father, his brother, his brothers, or other relatives is absolutely stupid. If a relative was missing a body part, say a limb or a digit or something like that, does that mean that in order to look like that relative that that body part should also be cut off that child? <laughs> and the family tradition excuse for circumcising a child makes me wonder what do these families do at family reunions? Do they all expose themselves to make sure they're all the same? Another reason used to justify forcing circumcision on a child is for some perceived health benefits. Cleanliness and cancer are the main scare tactics used to justify an unnecessary procedure like circumcision. It takes literally seconds to clean under the foreskin, but it takes us two and a half minutes to brush our teeth. So if we have to circumcise our penis to be cleaner, shouldn't we remove all of our teeth to avoid getting cavities? It seems to me that oral hygiene is a lot more involved than penis hygiene. As for cancer, it only prevents cancer of the foreskin. If there is no foreskin, you can't have cancer of the foreskin. Okay, I get it. But getting circumcised does not mean that you are safe from getting cancer of the penis. As for circumcision preventing cancer of the foreskin, did you know that it takes 10,000 circumcisions to prevent one case of cancer? That's completely illogical to put so many men through such a lifetime of harm, both mental and physical, to prevent one case. Since circumcised men do develop penile cancer, this scare tactic is also moot. 
So by now, are you seeing how lame these excuses are to justify circumcision? I was circumcised shortly after birth. No one ever told me why I was circumcised. No one ever told me that I was circumcised. I thought that's just the way I was designed. But I can only assume that some of the lame reasons I've mentioned earlier were also given to my parents. However, like approximately 1 million baby boys in the U.S. alone each year, no one ever considered how I might feel about having my body modified. And I do have strong emotions about this. I feel violated, assaulted, abused, cheated, and betrayed. Many men bury similar feelings like this simply because they're in denial about how they feel. And yet, most of these men still put their own sons through the same torture that they had to endure. The bottom line is that it's the child's body and no one has a right to alter it. It's his body and his choice. So when having a baby boy, there is nothing to decide about whether to circumcise him or leave him as nature intended. His DNA produced a foreskin, and it has a purpose. Leave him as nature intended, and respect his bodily autonomy. Check out my playlist for other foreskin restoration and circumcision related videos. Also, join my foreskin restoration Discord server. The link is in the description below. Until next time, peace.